Hi, in this video we're doing an old actuarial exam, problem 3.1.9 S in Broberman. We'll be finding the last group of payment amounts on a loan where only interest and a percent of interest are paid initially. It's going to be a 30-year loan where the first 10 years only interest is paid, where the second group of 10 years, 150% of the interest due is paid, and for the last 10 years, the ordinary amortization schedule holds. And we want to find the level monthly payment or yearly payment. So here we have a 30-year loan of 1,000. It's repaid with payments at the end of each year, so the payments form an annuity immediate. The first 10 payments equal the loan amount of interest due. The next 10 payments equal 150% of the amount of interest due. And each of the last 10 payments is X, and we want to find X. The effective annual interest rate is 10%. I hope that within a few seconds of reading this, you realize right away that the first 10 years really don't matter. I'll go ahead and put them on here but they don't matter. Your outstanding balance at time 10 is going to be the same as the loan amount, 1,000. It's only after that point that things get more interesting. We've got something happening for the next group of 10 payments from time 11 to time 20, and then something else happened for the last group of payments from time 21 to time 30. All right, so let's break this down. Uh, once we get to time 10, how much interest accrues during that next year from time 10 to a time 11. Well, it's the same as accrued each of the first 10 years. 10% 10 of 1,000 is 100. The payments those first 10 years were 100. And that will be the amount of interest due. But now as far as the payment amount, K itself, it's going to be 150% of that. It's going to be 150. And that means the principal reduction is going to be 150 minus 100 is 50. And therefore now, the outstanding balance at time 11 immediately after that payment will be 951,000 minus 50. All right, you might be wondering, is there any sort of magical formula that we can use to solve this problem pretty quickly? Well, there are formulas we can use, but it's maybe not clear what they are yet. I think it's probably worthwhile to go ahead and experiment and see if you see a pattern here. And also use your mind, use logic to see if you can discern that pattern. Over the next year, from time 11 to time 12, the interest that accrues is 10% of 950, which would be 95. You are going to pay 150% of that. So take that amount, that 95, and multiply it by 1.5. Your payment amount is going to be 142.5. Which means this, the difference, 142.5 minus 95, which is 47.5 is the amount that principal is reduced. So the next balance goes from 950 down to 902.5. Now think logically, okay? So each payment here in this group of payments is 150% of the interest due. The interest is 10% of the previous balance. Therefore, the amount you pay is 15% of the previous balance and your your principal reduction is 5% of the previous balance. Therefore, the new balance is always 95% of the preceding balance. 950 is 95% of 1,000. 902.5 is 95% of 950. You can double check that. Take 902.5 divided by 950, you get 0 0.95, 95%. And that pattern would hold, which means if we just do keep doing 95% of our outstanding balances, we can get the new balance at time 20. And think of that as a new loan, if you will, and then use ordinary amortization for the last 10 payments there. So you multiply by 0.95 squared, for example, to get from time, time to 10 to time 12. You'd have to multiply 1,000 by 0.95 to the 10th power to get the new balance at time 20. 0.95 to the 10th power is this, multiply that by a thousand, you're going to get a new balance of 598.74. Okay, I'll go ahead and carry more decimals like I often do down here. Just being a little bit paranoid about it there. That'll be like, like the new loan amount, if you will, at time 20, and now you're going to use ordinary amortization to figure out these new payments of X for these last 10 years. This present value at time 20 is going to be equal to X times A 
10.1, right? 10 payments, interest rate of 0.1. That's going to be that product. That'll be the present value of this income stream at time 20, and it has to equal the, the balance there. Figure out A10.1. That's something you should be able to do at this point just with your calculator. Take 1.1, take its reciprocal, that's V. Raise that to the 10th power. Subtract from 1. And then divide by I, divide by 0.1. This value of A is 6.14456711. Divide both sides by that, take its reciprocal, and multiply times 598.73694, and you get x to be 9744, and that is the correct answer, okay? So, I don't know, I, I felt like when I started this problem that it seemed a little, like it was going to be a little difficult, but now once you see what's going on here, it's really not, not too difficult. Um, you just got to... Be patient, and, and hopefully you'll see the pattern, especially the pattern in these, in these outstanding balances.